Hey, what's going on? Jordan here with STL Living, and today we have another vlog for you on Chesterfield, which is personally maybe my favorite suburb of the St. Louis area. It's densely populated, but still feels spread out. It's very pretty, well-maintained, a very nice area. So without further ado, let's get into it. Chesterfield Valley has so much to do, and I suggest you stick around until the end of the video if you're from St. Louis but haven't personally been to Chesterfield Valley in a little bit, because as I've researched this place, I mean, if you haven't been in a year, there's likely a few things that have changed. There's so much to do in Chesterfield Valley. So this is what it looks like whenever you're crossing over from St. Charles County heading east on 4064. Uh, this is the bridge that takes you over the river to Chesterfield Valley. So as you can see, Chesterfield does feature its own airport. I don't know if you saw the sign or not. And then over to the right, this is relatively new. There have been a lot of shopping centers that are featured over there. Uh, Sperry's, Under Armour, I'm pretty sure an Adidas is right over there, a Levi's, a Calvin Klein, a lot of shopping. It's actually at the stoplight that we're located at. It can take you over to the Chesterfield Airport, uh, it can take you to Eureka, it can take you to Wildwood, it takes you to Six Flags St. Louis, Mo Flags, Mo Fun. And right over that overpass on the other side of the highway, there are some recreational soccer fields and just a, a massive park. So over to the right, you got Cyberg's, pretty popular restaurant here in St. Louis. So there's Walnut Grill, also pretty popular, the Old Spaghetti Factory, Chick-fil-A. This is actually where, this is the Chick-fil-A that I discovered what Chick-fil-A was. Right across from its rival Canes. This is the main intersection whenever you get off the exit for Chesterfield Valley. That's typically where people would get off at. Uh, yeah, that being said, I mean, there's a Lion's Choice right here. I see a Starbucks over there. There's a Buffalo Wild Wings. I know Sonic's right there. Kind of embarrassing, but this whole vlog was actually just to document my, my new purchase. Uh, so I had to stop by Tesla. I'm actually switching up cars. No, but obviously there's a Tesla dealership right here in Chesterfield. I'm like 90% sure it's the only one in St. Louis. Don't quote me on that. I have not done my research on that particularly. So now we're crossing the street from the Tesla factory. I'm actually in my new Tesla now. It, I picked it up, bought it and everything. I didn't really feel like recording that, but we are going to cross over to where the Walmart's located, the Lowe's. Uh, there's also a Sky Zone in the area, which is pretty cool. If you don't know what Sky Zone is, it is basically just a massive place to jump around on trampolines. Uh, I decided to park my Tesla in this parking lot to show you guys off this, this area. Uh, so right there, you got a rally house. Uh, Dick's Sporting Goods, Five Below. There's also a Golf Galaxy right down the road. Uh, right across the street, actually. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a Top Golf right across the road, which I'll take you to in a few minutes. Uh, there's also a Walmart, a Lowe's, a Target, Taco Bell. I mean, I, I can't emphasize enough, like anything you might want to purchase, you can probably buy it here in Chesterfield Valley. So I thought I'd take you down this way just to show off a little bit more of the, the shopping and really just the, the overall feel of Chesterfield as a whole. If this isn't enough shopping for you, you are 15 minutes away from West County Mall, which is probably the most popular and best mall in St. Louis. You are 15 minutes from Babbler State Park. Chesterfield is in a very good location that is centrally located and you're not, really not far from 40 at all so you can get to other places if you choose to do so so I'm gonna take you over to the other side of Chesterfield Valley where a lot of shopping plazas are located a few restaurants and where Topgolf is as well something I've always found so unique about Chesterfield Valley is you are in such a densely populated area with so much going on but at the same time you kind of feel a little bit uh sheltered is not the right word you, you feel you feel like a sense of privacy here as well this area especially we're at the district in chesterfield and there's just stuff always popping up over here i mean just right there you got a you got a 
um, Ralph Lauren and then behind that area there's like a whole bunch of shopping kind of enclosed but if you haven't picked up on it by now Chesterfield is a pretty bougie area that being said there's a concert venue right behind me I didn't even know that was there maybe I'm just out of the loop I don't know so here's a main event that we're outside of it's like a luxury bowling alley uh, you can get drinks and bowl and whatnot get food so let's go check out top golf so as you make your way away from the district uh top golf is the last main attraction that is going to be on your left there's a landscaping company right behind it but this is the top golf of st louis i don't have much time right now so i'm not going to take you inside but essentially what top golf is is it's like a luxury driving range and they put rfid chips which stands for radio frequency uh, identification device and they put these rfid chips in the balls themselves um, and you can play games because the the technology somehow reads where these balls are going and you can play games and they'll serve you drinks and serve you food it's a pretty cool time if you've never been as i mentioned before i'm not the biggest golfer myself but i still have a lot of fun there here's a view of the district as you're driving away there's the factory again i really am going to check that place out that seems very cool Something I didn't mention much of before, but there are a ton of biking and walking trails around the perimeter of Chesterfield. I don't know how many miles it is, but it, it's a lot, it's a lot. I wanted to kind of show what I was talking about when I talked about all these commercial corporate buildings being off the side of the highway. Beautiful apartment complex right there. So we're here at the Chesterfield Mall. It's not necessarily the biggest mall in the area, but it is still very nice. Uh, the Cheesecake Factory is in the area. It's right across the street, not attached to the mall. There's a Macy's. I know there's a movie theater inside as well. But as I said before, there is uh, the West County Mall, which is about 15 minutes up the road from here. Hopefully that was fun, quick, and informative. Uh, I try to keep these vlogs relatively short. If you want more information, we are doing a whole like informational video on Chesterfield and really every spot in St. Louis. So feel free to check those out. Thank you for your time.